Now, we've all had spaghetti meatballs, but have you had Mexican-inspired meatballs? The whole family is going to love this really easy recipe. In a pan, I've just been sauteing off some garlic and some onion and a little bit of coriander root to give it some extra flavour. And for Mexican-inspired spices, some smoked paprika and some ground cumin. And then just toast that off for about 10 seconds or until it starts to become fragrant. And now we can add the meatballs. Now this is just beef mince that I've rolled into small walnut shapes. I've added one egg to it so it binds nicely, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then these can go into our spice and onion mix. I'll add a little bit more olive oil. And I'll give them a toss and keep cooking them for about three to four minutes until they color on the outside. Now that there's a little bit of colour on our meatballs, we can add some tomatoes. I like to use a combination of rich and thick, which has some tomato paste in it, along with some crushed tomatoes, so we've got a little bit of texture throughout this dish. Now we'll give that a really good mix, so all of those meatballs are coated in the tomatoes. We'll season the tomatoes with some salt. And because this is Mexican inspired, one can of kidney beans, they've been drained and washed and stir them through. This is coming to the boil now. We'll turn the heat down to a gentle simmer and cook this for about half an hour to 45 minutes or until that sauce really thickens and reduces slightly. These meatballs have cooked down nicely. That sauce is thick and rich. So now to serve it, I like to place it on a big platter. And then to garnish these Mexican meatballs, a nice squeeze of fresh lime juice, a few big dollops of sour cream. And I'll just scatter that around the dish. I love to serve this with some baked rice, some tacos, or even some simple tortillas. And then a nice, generous garnish of fresh coriander over the top. What a fantastic way to spice up meatballs.